So um, in 2012, Amy's brother and sister-in-law, Alex and Reva, contacted the Jewish Museum suggesting that maybe we wanted to display one of her dresses, um, which we were very excited about. Um, But we got into a conversation with them and it became very, very quickly clear that there was a huge story that should be told. Uh, The family had a large number of Amy's belongings that were able to tell a very, very different story of Amy and the person she was and how she was shaped uh, by her family, how important her Jewishness was to her. So we worked with the family to develop this exhibition um, that was originally in London uh, for a very short run in 2013 and has since uh, travelled uh, around the world actually and finally is getting the long run that it deserves in London now um, before moving on to another stop on the tour. So the exhibition came about through uh, collaborating with Amy's family. Okay. Where is the next stop? The next stop is Melbourne, Australia, wow, <laughs> the worked. furthest it's been. That's amazing. And why is Amy Winehouse so fascinating to the public? Well, I think she has just the hugest talent, just an absolutely towering talent, um, vocally, lyrically, musically. But she was also a massive icon stylistically in terms of her fashion and her style. Um, She uh, was a huge personality, um, uh, inspires an incredible amount of love and passion uh, from fans worldwide. Um, And, uh, you know, is is often known um, through the tabloid eye, which really doesn't tell the story in the way it should be told. Um, And it's, it's, it's very clear to us that there was a lot more to say about her that wasn't really being said so um, I think um, she was just a a fascinating character huge amount of energy an amazing sense of humor an amazing talent Um, and we really wanted to celebrate that here in Camden Town the neighborhood that she called home at the Jewish Museum London it really is interesting you've definitely portrayed her really well and then um, can you just explain the street trail to us Sure. Um, So one of the things we wanted to do to celebrate the exhibition coming back to London is to um, really have more of a presence in Camden Town, as I say, um, Amy's Amy's home neighbourhood. So we worked with an organisation called Global Street Art Mm -hmm. to commission street artists to um, produce new Amy-inspired works of art around the streets of Camden Town. Um, ending up at the Jewish Museum on our ground floor welcome gallery uh, with an amazing new installation by world-renowned street artist Pegasus, who was very close to Amy and is very close to her family and who is known for work on Amy, including um, the Fallen Angel piece that he did soon after she passed away. Um, So this is really a part of the celebration of um, Amy, Amy coming back to Camden Town. Amazing. And just lastly, how does the fact that the exhibition was created by Amy Winehouse's brother, how does that affect the tone of the exhibition? Um, the tone of the exhibition is very much the voice of the family, and in particular Alex, her brother. And it's so, it make, I think it's what makes the exhibition so um, unique. Um, it's not a traditional uh, museum voice that's coming through. What you're hearing, what visitors hear when they go around the exhibition, is a really privileged, intimate, warm, funny um, uh, insight into uh, a, a sibling uh, relationship, really. An older brother talking about his younger sister, who just so happened to be this global star as well. So the, the voice of the exhibition is very unique and really um, very touching and moving in many places.